Hi, I'm Dominica Lumazar. And I'm Rory Carruthers. We help entrepreneurs develop their big picture business strategy in order to break through growth plateaus. We built several marketing agencies from the ground up and have helped our clients earn over a billion dollars in revenue. Now we want to share everything we've learned along the way. This is the Big Picture Business Podcast. We, we've talked a lot on this podcast about how um, there, there are no, for failure, no failures unless you just give up. Yeah, exactly. So if you're learning something, it's always a success, even if you you it even if it appears to everyone else in the world that it's a failure. But if you actually learn something, and you took that away, and you went out and you said, you know what, I can I can do better. I'm going to do something different. That didn't work, but something else will. Mm-hmm. Then that is the right mindset. That's the success mindset. That's what keeps you going, and gets you to the next level, and the next level, and the next level. You know, and that and that is the other uh, mental side of it is that is realizing that there are levels and stages to success. Right. You can't just go zero to one hundred. It's not sustainable. Well, and most people can't. And you look at like lottery winners um, mm. who just come into a ton of cash, and then um, I don't know what the exact statistic is uh, off the top of my head. If I remember correctly, it's something like sixty percent of lottery winners are completely broke within four years of winning. Yeah. I've heard that. And uh, I was actually having uh, a conversation with uh, Dolan, one of our uh, previous guests and one of my business partners um, uh, yesterday. And what we were talking about is how we know all these people who have made tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars online. And yet, they're flat broke. Mm-hmm. They don't present themselves that way, but you know, when you know what's going on, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you're like, wow, you know, um, they just blow through cash. I mean, I, I, you know, I made a comment to him. I was like, you know, how does someone blow through $30 million in two years? You buy a jet. <laughs> That's exactly it. That was one of the things that one of the guys we were talking private about <laughs> uh, uh, bought was was his own private jet, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, everyone wants to like, you know, they come in come into cash and they want to be a baller and they want to like throw money around and um, and that. But the thing is that that's not smart. Like, you don't take from that nest egg. Right. So if we're we're looking at like strategy, because I want to give something that's actually tangible here that like as you grow your business, you're going to come into uh, more and more money Mm -hmm. and you're going to want to know what to do with it and how to approach it from the right mindset. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what you can do is, and this is the advice I would give uh, this person who blew $30 million. I would go, okay, look, take that $30 million and put it into investments, Mm -hmm. investments that bring you money, each and every month. Now, if you actually, even just baseline simple investments, 10%, Mm -hmm. that's $3 million per year to live off of. You could just live off the interest of that too. That's what what I'm talking about. That's the interest of of your investment, Mm -hmm. right? So you don't have to work ever again Mm -hmm. in a situation like that. You just have to learn how to live on $3 million a year. Just, yeah, I just got to learn. Right? <laughs> but that's, that's the thing is. Make your money work for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, don't like, once you've accumulated money, you can actually have the lifestyle, uh, have a nice, very nice lifestyle if you want. Yeah. Um, just living off the interest of that. But totally. if you don't do that and you just start taking from that, um, that initial fund of money that maybe you put you you received maybe very quickly in a buyout mm-hmm. or um, in um, in a lottery or you know whatever it is where you receive that money, um, you know it could be inheritance too. Um, mm-hmm. That that does happen, and a lot of people don't know how to handle it. So you th- just think these things through and say, you know, you, you may not have all the answers. You may not know where to invest it or anything like that. 
But the thing is, you have to have the mindset. The mindset is that you are going to invest in, you're going to figure these things out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's- you're not, not just going to just like throw that $30 million away or whatever the amount of money is. You're going to use it to your advantage to support and enhance your lifestyle so that you can have a lifelong income instead of a two year spending spree. Right. And then you're also setting up like future generations if you have kids or loved ones, mm-hmm. close kin. But the other side of that too is don't just wait around to come into some money, right? So right. I'm sure, you, I mean, everyone under the sun has heard of the secret, right? Where it's really setting the intention and getting out a checkbook and writing, you know, a million dollars on the checkbook and putting it on your wall and looking at it, looking at it every day and like the power of intention. So. I believe that that's totally true. I did that when I made my first hundred grand, like first very, cl- like number one, uh, number one client out of the gate. It was very humbling because I, I was super into the secret. Like that was my thing. And I had, I, I think I printed it out. It was like their, their standard check. It was like, I will make hundred thousand dollars is what I wrote down um, by the end of, I think it was, what, I mean, that was um, I think 10 years ago or more. But it happened. And I remember when it happened, I was like, <gasps> and I looked at that check and I was like, this works <laughs> because, I, because I put myself in that correct mindset to be successful, to take the first step, to, um, to pave the way mentally. And then I knew exactly what I wanted to do with that money because I had strategically thought about it. It wasn't just like, holy crap, a hundred grand let's go shopping. No, it was like, okay, now that I actually have this, here's, here's my plan. I'm going to stick to it. Now. I think that if you ever have like a a win, like a major win that you've really been um, working hard for and, and been thinking about and you've planned for buy yourself a little something nice, you deserve it. You've worked hard, but then save the rest and, and strategically, you know, um, plan it out so that when you do fall into the big, big money, you know what's going on. It's not a bad idea too to like, you know, contact a financial advisor, interview a few of them, see if one feels good because you're setting yourself up for wealth, for long-term wealth. And, uh, well, and, and reach out to, um, to people who are already successful and ask them to, uh, to refer you to someone. Yeah. Who they trust. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, like, just like with, uh, the taxes and stuff. Um, because mm-hmm. I, I, I was going to mention, um, so a referral, if, if you guys need referrals, you know, reach out and ask, but, um, you know, we're going to have a great one around taxes, um, coming up. I didn't even put, um, that on the list. Oh, we have to. Yeah, yeah we have to, this guy have to put that episode on the, on the list <laughs> changed my world at the time it really needed. I needed, I needed some financial help, uh, in this moment of like, uh Oh, and this guy really, his team is amazing. They were, they were able to go back and, uh, and, and find some cash that I didn't need to pay, uh, which was amazing. So anyways, yeah, we, we will have, hopefully we'll have him on sooner than later because I know that he would add so much value and, uh, you guys, uh, I think it'd be one of the greatest gifts we could ever give our listeners, honestly. Well, yeah. And, you know, and so why I mentioned taxes, okay, because you think about, okay, a hundred grand, well, you're going to give 40% of that back to the federal government, another 10%, depending on your state. Right. Um, and so you have to really look at, well, okay, well, how, you know, you, you just did this hundred thousand dollar deal, but you really only have 50,000. Right. So th- that's exactly right. right. You, every, every dollar I make to this day, I cut it in half and yeah. I just put 50% towards taxes. And then I like in a separate account, I, I don't touch it. I just know it's that goes to a separate account. Um, and, I, and I don't think about it. I, I pretend like it's not there. And then if I'm lucky enough where, you know, big projects come up and, and uh, I can write off a lot of things that come, come down the pipeline, then I won't have to dip into all of that, right? Because I'm, I'm using that money to fuel my business in ways uh, that make sense and that are yeah. true. I'm not talking about <laughs> hopping on a plane to Fiji. I'm saying like, you know, they're, they're legit uh, uh, business purchases. Yeah. And so, um, 
and the other the other part of this is how you spend your money, right? So mm-hmm. I've briefly mentioned this before, but one of the really key things is um, when you are actually spending the money that you have, if you you have to look at two aspects. Okay? The first aspect is that you you're you pay taxes. So for every dollar you spend, you have to earn two dollars. Right. So right there, anything you buy just double what it uh, what it costs and say, is it still worth it? Sometimes it is, but I found that the majority of the time it isn't, and that's why both of both of us run lean businesses and lean lifestyles is because um, we have that mindset. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, you know, we know how much that the value of a dollar is. Yeah. Now the other side of it is the, the second side is opportunity cost. Hmm. I'm so what glad that, you're bringing this up. Yeah, yeah. What is the dollar that you didn't that you spent on something else not bringing you in from your investments, from your from your business where you're reinvesting it in your business, mm-hmm. from the advertising that you're not running and you know potentially doubling or tripling your investment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you have to really think about these these things. This is, this, you know, this is real business and yeah. real world that we're talking about. We don't, you know, we don't talk about how, you know, you, you're going to like go and like earn a million dollars and go buy a Ferrari. Like, no, don't, don't do that. No. Remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified when each new episode is released. To download the digital episode companions, watch unedited and behind the scenes content from this and all our other episodes, get access to exclusive trainings from us and our guests, get direct access to myself and Rory, and to schedule your business critique with us, head on over to bppodcast.com forward slash VIP. The link is also in the description. We'll see you there.